Hey squad, welcome back to Prepping with Sarge. Today we're going to talk about my 2024 EDC. I hope your year is off to a great start. I will of course give you links down in the description below for all of the products that I show you today and tell you why I chose the products that I did. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. And first I want first thing I want to do here is show you a couple of things that I'm retiring from last year's EDC. Now, this first one here is my Zippo lighter. This has actually been in my EDC f since college. Uh, and I, a couple of years ago, I changed out the insert for that arc insert, which I loved. Nothing wrong with this. I'll put links for what I can find for that. Of course, uh, there's just, there's really nothing wrong with it. I just like to change, I'm the type of guy who likes to change up my EDC every year. And I like to get myself a few new knives every year. Kind of my, and my EDC knife usually is like an end of the year bonus. I think I deserve it. Don't you deserve a new knife? But anyways, this is the knife from 2023 that I'm retiring. Some of you will remember you've seen this in a lot of videos, and you'll probably see it in some stuff in the future too. It just won't be my EDC. So this is the Honey Badger Leaf, and it is, as you can see, I need to clean up the blade a little bit, but it has done very well this past year. It's definitely got a lot of use out in the woods, sometimes just opening up boxes and letters, but it's a great knife. There's definitely nothing wrong with this. I just the type of guy who likes to change it up every year, so... Needs a little bit of oil there too. Well, and of course it can do the spidey flick and all that kind of stuff. Multiple ways you can open this, including the flipper, right? You got the thumb hole there. So fun little knife, honey badger, you can check that one out. So let's start with that, I guess. So I replaced the honey badger this year with the uh, Holtzman Gorilla Survival Venture Point. Now I did a full review on this not too long ago. You can check that out. Uh, I was trying to get people to take a look at this one before their Christmas shopping. This is a really beautiful and slick knife. I mean, look at those, look at the lines on this thing. I, I looked through this really, really detailed. I cannot find a flaw. Look at the centering on that. Great little knife. Holtzman Gorilla Knives are really kind of an up and coming company. You really should be checking them out. Uh, now, if you were a first responder with the Thin Blue Line, certainly this is going to appeal to you, but you do not have to be a police officer to uh, to enjoy this. There's also a different one they have that has the red line. Maybe some of you firefighters might like that one, but let me show you this one real quick and then go ahead and check out, I'll try to link it up here, the full description, the full review for this one uh, that I did uh, a couple months ago. So you obviously can do the thumbnail and check out that drop shot. This thing is slick. Look at that. Wow. And of course you can do spidey flick and you could do thumb flick, right? Um, let's take a look at this blade D2 steel. And if you watch that other video, it comes razor sharp out of the box. As you can see, I'm still, you know, it's barely broken in. No scuffs or scratches yet. Of course, as I use this, I'm sure that we'll get some. And that's okay because we want to use, use our tools, right? And you've got the liner lock. Really nice. So that is the Holtzman Gorilla Venture Point. Let's go ahead and put that one up there. Next item on the list is I've swapped out that Zippo for a Blackbeard Firestarter. Uh, arc lighter and this is really fun toy i'm having a lot of fun with this one now even if you're not a smoker i do recommend that you carry a lighter with you so, or some way to start a fire uh especially if you're like me and you like to go hiking in the woods by yourself that kind of thing this is a plasma arc lighter rechargeable works really really well you'll be seeing this in a lot of videos in 2024 that's blackbeard fire starter and all by the way for both holtzman and blackbeard fire starter and for the next thing that i'm going to show you uh, i have discount codes in the description down below make sure you check that out and get yourself a little discount when you're upgrading some of your own kit so that's the blackbeard fire starter plasma arc lighter next item on my edc is the saber flashlight mini mini flashlight from PowerTech, and of course again i have a just i have a discount code for that as well now i did do one little upgrade to this i changed out the clip i'll show you what the original clip looks like right now this is what the original clip looks like i just changed it out for this one that i'm going to show you i like these double clips here so uh, i happen to have one around that uh, and the reason I like these, it is a little bit looser because this was designed for a different flashlight. But you can clip that on the brim of your baseball hat and then have turn it into basically a headlamp. That's the only reason I did that. But the other the other clip is great too. Now, what's cool about this saber, right? Why I switched to this a couple years ago is that it runs off AAA batteries. Okay, and AAA batteries are readily available, and I have even used my rechargeable batteries in here just to see if that would work. No problems at all. 
Uh, this is a great little flashlight. I love the size of this. I actually downsized my size because the, the other EDC flashlight that I was using was just a little bit bulky. This actually, if you wear jeans, this, this will fit perfectly in that little coin uh, pocket that you have on the right side of your jeans and uh, puts out puts out a decent amount of light. So just the, the one AAA version is uh, at, at the highest power. At the highest power, it puts out 168 lumens. And at the lower power, it puts out 50 lumens. It also has a strobe effect. Okay, there's your regular flashlight. And I'm gonna give it a double click. This is your strobe warning. If strobe lights bother you, turn away from the screen right now. All right, and then I'm gonna, the strobe light is now off. You can look at the screen again if that bothers you. So this is the Saber. Let me show you one more cool thing, feature about this flashlight. So when you get it, you actually, it can be, you can do two AAAs for even more power if you prefer that. So basically we're gonna screw off the, the lens bezel and we're gonna put the second piece of this on. So it's kind of like a transformer flashlight, if you will. And now it'll take two AAAs. And with two AAAs, if you wanted to use it that way, you're gonna get 239 lumens at high and 77 at low. And of course it'll still do the strobe. All right, so that is the Powertech Saber. Cool little EDC flashlight. Check that out in the description down below. And last item here from my EDC is I switched out my wallet this year to the Ridge. Now I'm not a brand affiliate or uh, a brand ambassador for the Ridge or anything like that. So I don't have a discount code for you that for that, but I'll go ahead and throw a link for it to Amazon. And the Ridge is an RFID protecting wallet. So in other words, there is uh, things called skimmers and scanners that can steal your credit card information just by somebody being in proximity to you, right? This actually will protect you from that. And all you do is you push out at that corner there. I'm trying to be very careful not to show you my cards. Uh, you push out at that corner there and then you can fan out your cards uh, and it's adjustable. You can fit, I think, up to 12 cards. There's all different colors and models. You can check them out. That's the Ridge. Uh, I am really, really happy with this. And then of course, on the other side of it, you can get a money clip or you can get an air tag. So if your wallet gets lost, you can track your wallet. I opted for just the money clip for myself. So you can put a little bit of cash in there and you can see I've got quite a few cards stored in there. And again, you just press into here and then you can basically fan them out, okay? So that is the Ridge wallet, and I definitely am happy with that so far. So this is my EDC. Let me know down in the comments what your EDC is. Don't forget to check the description for your discount codes, and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Keep planting your seeds, keep stacking your silver. This is Prepping with Sarge.